Hi, boys and girls. It's Dr. Prajana Khan. Nice to see you guys. Happy new day. Today, we're going to be working on Math Module 1, Lesson 7. Let's quickly get started. Okay. Our goal today is I can start by count in vertical columns, top to bottom, and horizontal rows going across. I can also match numerals on cards, so we will be using our number cards, okay? These are the materials that you will need. Okay, let's move on. Firstly, we're going to start out by playing a fun game, and it's called Sunrise and Sunset Counting, okay? We're going to pretend that we're the sun, and as we rise, we're going to count up. As we set, we're going to count down. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. Okay, let's get started. So let's duck a little bit, everyone. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Shine bright like the sun. Woo! Okay, now we're going to back. Ready? We're going to count down backwards, okay? Five, four, three, two, <gasps> One. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? I had so much, so much fun. I hope you're having fun too. Okay, okay. Good, good job. Let's go play another game. Are you ready to play another game? I am. Okay, this is so much fun. I love playing games. Uh, this is called the five frame game. The five frame game. And here, we're going to roll a die. And we're going to show that number on the five frame. Simple. We're going to roll a die and show that number on the five frame. We're going to add or remove circles to match the new number roll. So we're going to continue playing the game. All right, are you ready? Okay, let's go. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Ah, one, okay, so we just rolled one. Let's make sure that we have one circle in the five frame. Do we? Yes, we do. Put your thumbs up. Woo, we did it. Okay, let's to the next one. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Ah, two. We got two. Okay, let's see if we have two circles in the five frame. One, two. Do they match? Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. Good, good job. Now we're going to Roll it again, but this time the five frame looks a little different. Can you turn and talk and tell your partners why? What happened to the five frame? What's different about it? Hmm. Hmm. Eyes on me. I heard a lot of great conversation. I heard some of you say that the five frame now is represented the vertical way. So we switch from the, the horizontal way to the vertical way, okay? Nothing else changed, just the positioning of the five frame, right? Okay, let's do it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Four, okay, let's make sure there are four circles on the five frame. One, two, three, four. Does, do they match four and four? Put your thumbs up. Good, good work. You guys are amazing. Hi, my geniuses. Kindergarten scholars. Scholars means a person. A scholar means a very intelligent, smart individual. And you guys are my kindergarten scholars. I am so proud of you. Let's continue. Now we're going to play another game called the Wreck and Wreck Roller Coaster. Wreck and Wreck. Roller coaster. <laughs> Basically, as the number gets bigger, we're going to slowly raise our hands higher. And as the number gets smaller, we're going to slowly raise our hand, uh, lower our hands. Okay? I go and basically we're creating a wave. Just like when you're in a roller coaster, don't you feel like you're going up and down, up and down? I love roller coasters, especially really, really, really challenging and scary ones. Uh, it makes me feel so happy and exhilarated. Okay. So, or you can picture yourself in an ocean, right? In the ocean waves going up and down. The waves are coming up and down, right? Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Here's my wreck and wreck. Okay, and we're going to start. So, one, two, three, 
four, five. Okay, so let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay. That was awesome. Okay, now let's do it. Now let's gesture our, our hands slowly back down, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. That was a fun roller coaster ride, right? Okay, good job. So proud of you. That was fun too. I'm having so much fun. Oh, I love math. I love math. So much fun. Okay, now we're going to look at our application problem. Let's find things in our virtual room. This is our virtual room. Now find a friend and share what we found. How many items did you and your friend find all together? And then ask yourself, ask yourselves, did you find some of the same things? If so, put them together and count them. So let's stop for a minute. Firstly, whenever we come across an application problem, it's very important to just stop and think about what's happening. What do you notice? So let's all notice what's going on. Mm, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I noticed there are some teddy bears, apples, and flowers. Okay. All right. Now what I would like for you to do is turn and talk to your partner and sh figure out how many items do you see all together all together so count them took and, and figure it out okay eyes on me okay good job let's count one two right three four five six seven eight nine nine items is that what you found <gasps> Is that what you figured out together? Yes, good job. So proud of you. Again, scholars in the making, scholars in the making. All right, the next question is, did you find some, some of the same things? If so, put them together and count them. So all you're doing is categorize these items and counting them. You've been working on this already. You're becoming experts in this area where you're able to categorize items by similarity, right? And then count them. Count how many are in each group or each set, okay? So that's what you're going to do right now. So turn and talk to your partners and figure this out. Do, 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 do. It's just some background music. Do, 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 do. You can always pause the video. Give yourself more time. Do, do. <gasps> okay, eyes on me. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got it right. You did! Excellent job. So we first categorized them by similarity, all the teddy bears here, all the flowers, and all the apples, right? Okay, and then you count them. One, two, three. Three teddy, there are three teddy bears in this group. One, two, there are two flowers in this group. One, two, three, four. There are four apples in this group group or set, right? Again, it's important to know that you can use word, uh, different words, right, that have the same meaning, like set and group, right? They're different words, but they have the same meaning. Okay, good job. Let's continue. Now we're going to move on to our concept development. How many cubes do you see vertically? And can you find something in the room with the matching amount, okay? How many cubes do you see vertically? And can you find something in the room with a matching amount, all right? So here we go. You ready? Okay. So how many cubes you see in the first column? One red cube, okay? Now let's look around our room. And if you can't find anything, that's fine. But try to find something in your room or wherever you are with a matching amount. Hmm, let me look around. I found one shape, right? I found one hexagon, okay? Why is it a hexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, this is my item that I found, okay? Let's move on. 
How many do you in the how many cubes do you see in the second column? Two. Okay, two blue cubes. So I will look around to see if I find something like that. <gasps> two cube, two squares. Okay, good job. Let's move on. What do we see here? Three yellow cubes. Let me see if I can find another item in my hat and where I am that represents a match the same number. <gasps> Three triangles. Do you see that? Good job. Let's go to the next one. What do you see here? Four green cubes. Let me see if I can find something that's the matching amount. Oh, I do. Four circles. Four circles. Good work. Let's move on. The last column, right? And again, all of these are represented vertically. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five teddy bears. Ah! Five teddy bears. And guess what? They're so cute. And I love them. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our concept development. Uh, furthermore, and here we'll notice that we have to sort each cube by color, count them, and then place the matching number card with the correct group. Okay, so we're adding something different here. We're still sorting, still counting each group, but we're now matching number cards with the correct group, okay? So you remember what the number cards look like. These are your number cards, okay? All right, so let's go. So first, again, what do we do? First step is always, what do we notice? Hmm, I see all these colorful cubes. I notice that some of them are, they, we can categorize them by, by similarity, by color. Okay, so let's do that. Pause the video and we'll do that. When the... Eyes on me. Okay, let's see if you did that correctly. <gasps> Good job. Now, what I noticed is all of these are represented the horizontal way, right? Two, two blue cubes are represented horizontally, the yellow cubes are represented horizontally, and so on, okay? Now we are going to place the matching cards with the correct groups, okay? <gasps> oh my goodness, that looks so cool. That looks amazing. I love the way this looks. So two cubes are represented with the two number card. Three cubes are represented with the three number card, okay? And so on. Good work. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same exact thing, but now we're going to represent these groups or, or sets the vertical way, top to bottom. <gasps> ah, that looks so nice too. Really, really awesome. I love how colorful it is, right? Yes. So now the same exact thing, but only the position changed, right? The amount stayed the same, or the corresponding or matching amount stayed the same, right? The only difference is that it went from the, the cubes are represented from, went from the horizontal way to the vertical way. But the, again, the corresponding amount or number card stayed the same, okay? Good, good work. You guys are so, so smart. I'm so I'm, I'm just in awe right now, okay? So today and every day, understand, boys and girls, you can sort by count in vertical columns and horizontal rows, and that's exactly what we did. You can also match the numerals, match two numerals on cards, right? Amazing, amazing work. You're going to complete your problem set in the math book. You're going to complete the homework in the math book. And then as you do this work, as you do this really, really, really uh, exciting work, you're going to ask yourself, why are the teddy bears and the silverware both colored brown? So uh, again, you're going to ask yourself as you're doing this work, why are the teddy bears and the silverware both colored brown? And you're going to answer that question, okay? That's when your critical thinking comes into play, right? Critical means, uh, higher level thinking, right? Scholarly thinking, because that's what you're working towards becoming kindergarten scholars. So proud of you. So proud of you. Take care. See you soon. Bye.